I'm talking treasure, Gretch. Diamonds, gold, maybe even gold diamonds. And to think we owe it all to a stick. This isn't just a stick. It's a divining rod, and it's gonna lead us right to the mother load. Found something! It's like the one I just lost. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Dibs on the loot, bottom dozers. Activate digging mode. <laughs> Come to Butt Squad, Mr. Treasure. <laughs> Oh, man! All yours, butt's not. Hey, this stick actually works! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Finders, keepers, McLosers, McWeepers! Hey, keep your paws off our... <laughs> Mission Control, we have liftoff. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure! Cool. Whoa. Wow, a busted clock. I can barely contain my joy. Maybe it just needs winding. Cool. Wow, a busted clock. I can barely contain my joy. Cool. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Guys, this clock isn't busted. It's a time machine. Grab on and prepare to have your socks blown off. Oh, disgusting! Whoa! Time travel is spinning. I see a barf bag in my future. Whoa! Welcome to the Future Camp Lake Bottom! Could use some paint. Rip off? Where are the jetpack canoes and the atomic outhouses? Hey, let's go ask those guys. Excuse me, gentlemen. Can you tell us where we are? You strangers are trespassing on the Sunny Smiles slime fields. Sunny Smiles slime fields? But what happened to Camp Lake Bottom? Camp Lake Bottom? <laughs> Haven't heard that name in ages. Sawyer? Armand? Campers? <laughs> 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 we thought we'd never see you again. <laughs> I remember the day you disappeared. Ugh, disgusting. Sticky. Styling. Oh, yeah, this lake bottom filth is gonna make me filthy richer. Hey, Slip, seen our campers? Hands off my slime geyser! It's mine! Mine, 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 mine! You can have your gucky slime! We want our gucky campus! Um... Oh. This bird knows! <laughs> A wild goose! Chase it! <laughs> Knew that goose would come in handy. Get me a drill! Stat! <laughs> Took you long enough. Ha! I am the slime king! Butt Squat made a bazillion bucks on hair slime and bought the camp. He only let us stay if we work for him. <laughs> it may be slimy, but it's still our home. On the plus side, I can see my reflection in my fur. <laughs> Whoa! Who's the old guy? Butt Squat won't get away with this! He already did, thanks to this clock. <laughs> Hey! Breaks over, bottom slackers! <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, slime monkeys? <laughs> <gasps> huh? <laughs> hey, you twerps look like a bunch of campers I used to know. Well, whoever you are, no trespassing! So long, Slimers! <laughs> Later, Layboy! Butt Squat's gonna pay for that when we go back in time and. Ew, this slime gets into everything. Yeah, I've even got some between my. Don't say it! Okay, plan B. We take back our camp slime style. Who's with me? Go! go This sewer line leads right into the plant. <gasps> Once you guys unslime the clock, head over to the factory. Got it? Got it. Now go dethrone the Slime King. Flush away! <laughs> hey, 
check us out. Superstar Slime Princess! No contaminating the slime vats! Uh oh, time to move. <laughs> no. They must be spit on span so Hell Goop stays 100% pure yucky. Rosebud? <gasps> Campus! At last you have returned! We missed you so bad! Yay! Oh, you think it's funny <laughs> to keep us waiting and worrying and working for our potato head all this time? Can we just skip to the part where you forgive us and we save the camp? Done! Get to work. Okay. Save the camp? Ha! I knew I'd recognize you, McTwerp! Slime Zooka! Run, campers! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ah! Run! Oh, no! We've got to do something! It's time to slime that slime ball. You never look better, slime squat. Uh, I'll get you for this, McDork. As soon as I get out of here... <laughs> McGee, your time machine clock's all cleaned and ready to go. Thanks, guys. Perfect timing. Ow! <laughs> Did you say time machine? Yeah, cool, huh? You just gotta wind back the hour hand and... <laughs> Squirt! Thanks, bottom dweeber! <laughs> Oh, man, I'm, I'm gonna hurl. You get used to it. This out-of-sight spot would be a new camp for Daddy-O. Right on, Zombie Man. What should we, like, call it? Camp Far Out? Camp Hang Loose? How about Camp Goovalicious, man? Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! We went back in time too far! Way to go, Bald Butt! That's Mr. Bald Butt to you, twerp! Now hand over that clock! No! Where are we? Mind-blowing question, little dude. We were just rapping on it. Wait a minute. We've traveled back to before Lake Bottom was built? Lake, Lake Bottom. Bottom. Ooh, righteous name, dudek. You should put the outhouse over there. Best view when you tinkle. Thanks for the brainwave, little man. <laughs> Got a split. Far out. Peace. Let's go. You let go. No, you let go. I hope we're collecting frequent time traveler points for this. Let go. No, you let go. Are we back in the present? Oh, we better be. I'm out of barf bags. <laughs> Hey, someone dropped a quarter. Hands up! I saw it first! Thanks, butt snot! Now, if I stop our past selves from time traveling in the first place, I can fix everything! Huh? Not if I stop you first! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, grab on and prepare to have your socks blown off! Oh. We're too late or, or too early! Oh, time travel makes my head hurt! But we're right on time to stop the original butt brain! <laughs> Disgusting! Sticky! Styling! My beautiful hair! What? This lake bottom filled his hay! Uh, uh, uh. Thanks for the distraction! Me! Now I can go back in time and make sure my empire still oozes money! What's Cubo talking about? Long story. Go ahead, Mr. Buttsnot. I dare ya. What? Relax. I'm 100% sure this probably might maybe work. 100% sure ain't what it used to be. See you in the future, McGee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice fall, Chrome Dome. And according to my clock, it's time to send this slime ball back where he belongs. Slime you later, Mr. Bald Squat. Ah, enough with the slime jokes. You'll pay for this, bottom slimers. I kind of doubt it. 
The future is looking slime-free. Welcome to Camp Space Bottom, Slime King. <gasps> now get to work! Whoo! Thanks, Stretch. Time to toast some buns. Well, that was gross. Let's do some nerd watching and see what's going down at Sunny Slime. Something stinks at Sunny Smiles. Look! Hmm, what are those lameoids doing over there? Wait, wait. I, I can hear them. They're talking about some sort of poo tea pageant. What? Booty. Ugh! I know exactly what they're up to. Well, whatever they're cooking up, let's go get a taste. Come on! Uh, you want to taste booty? <laughs> Is there a squid on my head? Shh! And by this time tomorrow, I'll be crowned Little Miss Cutie Beauty Camper Girl! Isn't it great? So you are having a beauty pageant. What? No! What beauty pageant? The one I wasn't invited to? Yeah, why wasn't she invited? Duh! Because it's for girls only. And you're... Hmm, how do I put this rudely? Not girly! I'm a girl just like you! <laughs> Butt squat! Get the girlometer. Girl test, Gretchy Poo. What shade of pink am I wearing? What's a unicorn's favorite food? Name all four members of the boy band too cute for comfort. Um... Too slow! It's Purdy Winkle Pink, Magic Dazzleberries, and Lance, Chad, Zach, and <gasps> little Davy Dog. 100% tomboy. See? The girlometer never lies. I'm a girl, Susie. Just a different kind of girl. But I can be twice as girly as you if I wanted to. I'd love to see you try. It's all. Bring it. Uh, you know you have a squid on your head? Uh, I must have girly clothes somewhere. No! No! I can look girly without fancy clothes. Just need to brush my hair. Bit of makeup. And... Maybe she's right. I'll never be a girl like her. Squirt, you and I need to Susify Gretchen. Whoa! We're gonna make Gretchen twice the Susie that Susie is and help her win that pageant. To the lost and found! Here, bows, frilly dress, high heels, curling iron. Wait, there's something else down here. Ooh, pretty! Come on, Squirt, time to turn Gretchen's girly dial up to 11. Quit your moping, Gretch. We got a pageant to win. Did someone say pageant? Oh. <sighs> Mommy! Okay, checklist. Lipstick? Check. Curling iron? Check. Styling mousse? Oh. Uh, forget the mousse. Oh. Okay, gang. Time to turn Gretch into the perfect pageant princess. Pronto! <laughs> and we're done. Oh, my. She's, uh, well, something's missing. But I can't put my finger on it. We forgot jewelry. Ta-da! Like a fashionista ninja. Wow! How do you feel, Gretch? I feel like... like... Knock, knock, losers. What are you guys doing? Uh... Having an ugly pageant? Ha! <laughs> Whoa. Who's the new girl? Gretchen? Oh, hi, Suze. What's up? Oh, well, I'm just letting you know. Miley got the measles, so there's one extra spot in the pageant tomorrow. Or whatever. So I can be a cutie beauty or whatever. Yeah, I guess. Or whatever. There's always room for one more loser. Ha! 
By the way, Gretch, nice boots. Thanks, Suze. I like your shoes, too. Call me later? Uh, okay. Um, let's get out of here, butt squat. Bye. Did you see Susie's face? You totally have a shot at winning. <laughs> yeah, totally. Zappa, my little goose pimples. Yes. Get it while it's still squirming. I'll catch up with you guys. I just need to fix my hair. Whoa, nice silverware, Gretch. Did you rob a castle or something? No, I can't bear to eat off those plates. What am I, a cave woman? Uh, so what do you guys want to do after dinner? I was thinking we could slide down Poop Hill and then we could roast some worms. Oh, that sounds disgusting. How about we play my favorite game, Spa Day? Spa Day? How the heck do you play that? <laughs> This is what I call fun. Yeah, mud masks, fun. Can I get some salad dressing for my face? These cucumbers are stale. Hello. Hey, Susie Q. Oh, just getting my face on with the gross twins. Susie Q? Twins? Sure thing, babe. I'll be ready in five. Toodles. All right, party's over. Everyone out now. Oh. What? You can't kick us out. We live here, too. I have to pack for my big trip to Sunday. Smiles. What big trip? Susie invited me to join their camp and become a real cutie beauty. And your names are not on the guest list. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Gretch. I can't believe we lost her to the dork side. Maybe it's all just an elaborate ruse, and she's infiltrating Camp Sunny Smiles so she can dismantle the infrastructure from the inside. What? Hey, campers! Have any of you seen a green glowing ring? Did you say green? Yeah. Glowing? Yeah. Ring? Oh, sounds like my lost opposite ring. It makes the wearer act completely opposite to their normal self. I, uh, <clears throat> I put it on Gretchen. You did what? That explains everything. Not quite. If she wears the ring for 24 hours straight, she will remain opposite forever! You guys better fix this. Everyone, do your jobs faster and better, you rips! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, where's Gretchen? You mean Greta, my bestie? She's backstage getting ready to lose. Your bestie? Yeah, as in bestie frenzies. And bestie frenzies don't hang out with worsty enemy brothersies. <laughs> We have one hour to get that ring back before this beauty pageant gets ugly. Just so you know, Greta, no hard feelings when I win today. Not at all. And I hope you're not mad my hair is nicer than yours. Of course not. It really distracts from your hideous boots. <laughs> Best friends forever! Ladies, never hurts to hug the host. Let's squat! You better pick me to win, or else! Of course, Suze. It's in the bag. <gasps> black crow to white rabbit, are you in position? Affirmative, black crow. I can see the ring. And have you secured a hiding spot? Affirmative. Operation Snack Shack is in full effect. Attention, human. Yummy snacks. Get your fruity cutie bars here. Ooh, anyone else want a fruity cutie bar? <laughs> Ow, my ear canal. Hey, get me my cutie bar! Two minutes till I am with my awesomeness! We're almost on! And now I will be making amazing balloon sculptures! A snake! A pencil! An oblong balloon! Thank you! Never took one lesson. And now, my adoring fans, the other thing you've come here for besides me, big hairdos and fancy dresses! Look at them walk! Especially the blonde one. Isn't she perfect? Snap out of it! You're gonna ruin everything! I got a plan. No! And now it's time for the talent contest. <laughs> uh, give it up for Susie's amazing song. 
Isn't she the best? Anyway, now our final contestant, Greta, will be... Hold up. There's a last minute change. Greta will be tango dancing with the new contestant, Maggie! Wearing this. Come on, Gret. Let's show them a real dance. <gasps> She's ruining my moment! Ew! Why am I wearing these clothes? I need to change. Show them what you got, Gret! <laughs> Looks like a girl can be pretty and kid butt. Oh, sorry. I'm all out of fruity cutie bars. It's time to run the play. Here it comes. He shoots. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. The outside game is over. Time for inside game. I call washing the dishes. The dishes? No fair. That's the worst game ever. Remember, this is not the fun toy. So, have fun. <laughs> but not Mr. Sinkos. Rosebud's right. This isn't a fun toy. It's a super fantastic fun toy. Don't even think about it, McGee. Well, think about what? This <laughs> or this? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of this. <laughs> Incoming! Woo. Look at me. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> You can run, but you can't hide. Who's hiding? My turn! <laughs> oh. ah. Hey! Get ready for the rip cycle. Squirt wins. Is it just me, or is that trunk acting kind of weird? Should we open it? What's that, Gretchen? <sighs> What's in it? Uh, it just looks like old junk. Water! I need water! Oh. It's a mermaid! What is the mermaid doing in a trunk? Who cares? It's a mermaid! Enough! I mean, a light mist is fine. My name's Esmeralda, the, um, really nice mermaid. Why are you in a trunk? Well, Rosebud and I are old friends, and I'm here to surprise her. Were you hibernating? Sure. Could you, perchance, take me to a lake? Yes, we can. Hey, guys, check this out. Unhand that at once! I apologize. That's, uh, the gift I got for Rosebud. I just want to make sure it doesn't get lost. We can totally for sure take you to see Rosebud. No! I need time to prepare her surprise. I would hate to ruin it. And no one else can see me either, or they might tell her. Okay, secret trip to the lake it is then. All clear. What's it like being a mermaid? Great. Are there mermen? No. Can I be a merman? No. When we get to the lake, do you want to play basketball? Sure. How do you go to the bathroom? Ew, gross question. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, sorry, mermaid tails are surprisingly slippery. Hang on, I have an idea. <laughs> Has anyone seen my underwear? Hurry up before he sees us! Water! I need water, water you little darlings! 
Wait here. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, it's not long enough. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> hmm. Something's wrong with the water pressure. Have you seen my underwear? Water? Ta-da! Have no fear. Squirt is here. Give it to me, you fool! <laughs> okay, okay! Enough with the hose! Uh, uh, I mean, thank you for the refreshing spritz. Wait, I forgot something. Say seaweed! <laughs> something you see every day. I know. Slimy usually takes the bus. Thanks for setting me free, fools! <laughs> We're still on for basketball, right? <laughs> She's on your team. <laughs> but I thought you were here to surprise Rosebud. Fools! Soon this entire camp and everyone in it will be mine, including Rosebud! Too bad you can't leave the water, flippy, flippy, feet, fishy, flipper! Okay, so that's not my best burn, but uh, you get the point. But I don't have to. Rise! 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 Once the camp is flooded, there will be nowhere for you to hide. I recognize that tail thwap anywhere. We've got mermaid trouble. But how did she get out of the tonk? <laughs> oh, figures. Esmeralda! I stopped your reign of terror once, and I will do it again. And you won't stop me this time. This time, I will rule the world! No! Who's that? Trun! What's a trun? Ah! Oh, drunk! Quickly! Silence! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Buds locker and get whatever diving gear you can find. We're going to the Trun. What's going on? Where's Rosebud? Table Mermaid! Rosebud's an eel! Flood! Take over the world! Looks like we got bigger problems than your lost underwear. You guys stop the water and save the camp. We're going to fight the mermaid and rescue Rosebud. Yeah! How much of that did you get? Not much. Then let's do it. Book of Evil Creatures. Let's see. Marshmallow Man, Maniacal Clown, you know, Maids, comma, Disgruntled. Aha! Mermaids! What's it say? What's it say? Some breathing room, please! Thank you. To defeat an evil mermaid, you must catch her and dry her out? How are we gonna do that when she's flooding the whole camp? Hey, guys! Look what I found! Rosebud, we're coming to save you! We better hurry! I think it's working. I think you're right. Ah, so cute. Wait, did McGee say there was a mermaid? Evil mermaid. Well, you won't get away with this. Oh, don't be so crabby. Ah! I wonder, could I have something a little less, um, pinchy? Ah! So cute. Now. <laughs> I have some pesky children to deal with. What shall I turn them into? <laughs> Even if we find her, how are we going to get her out of the water? We just need to figure out a way to get her in the air. I got it! Remember the balloons from Sawyer's Happy Being Dead for Another Year Day? Yes. Good party. I like that cake. Let's get the air tank and the biggest balloon we can find. I have a plan that just might be crazy enough to work. Looks like I've got you in a dead end. Well, I guess we'll just have to see about that. Now! <laughs> Hate to pop your balloon, kitties. Well, that went 
been well. No problem. I have another plan that's even crazier. We'll use this rope to lasso her around the tail, and then once we have her tied up, we figure it out from there. Sounds good to me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now! <laughs> You have lasso your last mermaid! Ah. Ah. Have to get the necklace! Meet me at the flagpole! What about you? I'm going to go see if Esmeralda wants to join us for a game of basketball. Come on, Squirt! Leave them alone, you big stinky fish! I am not a fish! So you're just stinky then? <laughs> Up here, fish breath! Catch me if you can! Are you chicken of the sea? <laughs> Spin it to win it! Release me at once! No, you turn my friends into sea creatures. Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> done and done. Consider this mermaid officially waterproof. Perfect. <gasps> Looks like somebody needs to finish the dishes. Oh, but first is basketball. Hey, Sawyer, catch! Oh, nice shot. Look what I found! The most important rule in soccer is never use your hands. Which is good, because I lost mine. <laughs> wow, you haven't said that joke before. Soccer's all about feet and noggin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the skills to pay the bills? Ah, thanks for the tips. Would it help if we also had a field? We already lost three balls. <laughs> okay. So, maybe the field is a little overgrown. I'd mow it myself, but I don't have a free hand. <laughs> get it? No hands. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a tough crowd. Anyway, the grass needs to be cut. Any volunteers? Sure. I have a rock, paper, scissors tournament tomorrow, and I don't want to risk damaging my hands doing manual labor. Okay, fine. I'll help mow the field. How hard could it be? <laughs> Just a little more. We almost got it. Are we done yet? Ah, peat moth. Soccer won't even be a game anymore by the time we're done. There's got to be a better way. Maybe there's something in that tool shed. What's in there? Probably something deadly. Either we whisk our lives in there, or go back to mowing. Hmm, possible death or yard work. All right, let's get down to business. Oh. Let's see, junk, junkier junk, junkiest junk, <gasps> Sawyer's arms. I wonder what this does. Ah! Hey, check this out, the Book of Evil Landscaping. We better hurry. Sounds like rain. That's the last thing our field needs. Let's see. A zombie thumb is a green thumb. Haunted fertilizers. A whole chapter on broccoli. Oh, here we go. Evil lawnmower maintenance. I don't know if using a book of evil landscaping. 
is a good idea. Now, what could possibly make you think that? Well, for starters, thunder crashes every time we say its name. What, the Book of Evil Landscaping? <laughs> <gasps> See? Aw, oh, tell me that's not cool. Besides, it's just an old book. How evil can it be? Dark forces in charge of proper lawn care. We beseech you! Oh, boy. Rusty us, junk us, fix us up us! Kitty us, lazy us, get someone else, see us! Oh, well, that was a huge letdown. Nice. Ah! Happy place! Happy place! Happy place! I'm in soccer heaven! Anyone for a game? Yeah! Hey! Lightning Legs McGee races towards the goal! He shoots! Great save! Do you want to be the goalie? Keep off the grass! It's a soccer field. Keep off the grass! <laughs> well, that was a short season. Who'd have thought using an evil spell book would backfire like that? Right. Well, there's plenty of camp left, so... Who's up for volleyball? How about ping pong? It's an indoor game. Now you're talking. Uh, uh, what a beautiful day. Huh? Hold on. This is too beautiful. Keep ah! off the grass! Ah! <sighs> What's the story, Morning Glory? We might have a problem. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Looks like he did the whole place. Even the seaweed's gleaming. He can't keep everything off the entire campground. Can he? Keep off the grass! Keep off the grass! I'll take that as a yes. Should we warn our counselors? Too late. Help! I've been composted! Help! Keep off the grass! Ah! If anybody needs me, I'll be running and hiding. Ah! McGee, do you like my new do? Because I don't! What have you gotten us into this time? I have a perfectly good explanation for this. We really wanted to play soccer, yada, 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 and now the camp is haunted by a deranged gardener. <laughs> well, that happens. So much for the great outdoors. Wait! The Book of Evil Landscaping! <gasps> okay, we get it! The mower section had a spirit uninstall spell. All we need to do is make it all the way across the camp to the tool shed and avoid the deranged groundskeeper who's trying to destroy us. And do you have another plan? Nope, just the one. How did I know that was going to be the answer? I don't know about this. Relax, he can't go after all of us at once. One, two, three, go! <laughs> It's like he's everywhere at once. We'll never get to the shed. Sure we will. We just need to get there without touching the ground. All we have to do is use the clothesline. We can zip line all the way there. Trust me, there is absolutely nothing that can go wrong with this plan. Are we there yet? No! didn't work. No. Time for plan B. Or is it C? What plan are we on? One, two, three. You're doing it! No. Plans E through Z? Face it, the only living thing allowed on that grass is the Keeper. That's it! We'll just get him to take us! Huh? Trust me, it's a great plan! Except for the poop part. 
<gasps> this was your plan? Get inside old burlap bags of sheep manure? No, bags that used to be full of sheep manure. There's a difference. And they're not sheep manure bags, they're sheep fertilizer bags. Ooh, fancy. But sheep fertilizer is just another way of saying sheep manure. Let's talk more manure bagging. Just make like a poop and plop. Well, that tops the list of worst thing ever. It wasn't so bad. There were some dung beetles in mine that were nice. Never mind that. Here's the uninstall verse. Huh. We just have to get the Grim Keeper to stand on the magic symbol again. How do we do that without getting sliced and diced? Guys, trust me. The key to a good plan is not getting hung up on the details. You don't have any idea how you're going to do it, do you? No. Nope. No, I don't. Fantastic. Hey, I've gotten us this far. I'm sure I'll think of something. In case you didn't hear my sarcastic remark the first time, fantastic. That was sarcastic? Wow, you're good. <sighs> Okay, so I scratch the symbol into the ground. With this hoe! He comes to yell, keep off the grass! When I'm done scratching in the symbol, with this hoe! Gretchen chants from the Book of Evil Landscaping! Man, you think I'd get used to that? He goes away, we play soccer. With this hoe! Sound good? This is nutsoid. Victory! McGee, you forgot the hoe! Chance, you have a hoe? <laughs> oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Off the grass! Yeah, we get it! if crazy means having another great plan. Get ready with that verse. Get that verse ready! Gretchen, now! Garden us! Tool us! Away us! Um, wrong spell! Told you you could trust me. Soccer? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, peat moss. Toss till total butt slop humiliation. One's all I need to crush you, McGoon. I hope you enjoy losing, McGee. Butt squat, butt squat. He's the man. If he can't do it, no, McGee can. Final round of the zip line horseshoe playoffs. Who will win a trip to the fabulous prize shed? Pick a prize, any prize, like these false teeth. Ow! A little help here. Out of the way, loser! Blow, well, blow! Here's another one. <laughs> no! It's a ringer! McGee wins! Couldn't have done it without you, butt slop. <laughs> Choose anything you want, camper! <laughs> nope. Ew! And no. Whoa! I picked this! Ew! Uh, a moldy horse head? That's gross, even for Lake Bottom. Lake Bottom's got way grosser stuff than that. Come on, Suze. I don't need their stinky lame-o prizes. I've got a case full of real trophies. Yeah? But none of those trophies is a moldy horse head! Yeah! I'm <laughs> um, okay. I like your trophy, McGee, even if it stinks. It doesn't stink. <laughs> Lunch time! 
Come get your boiled skunk. Oh, yo, stinky. Oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Am I? This isn't the shed. I gotta hide! It talks? My trophy just went from awesome to fans awesome amazing! I'm a trophy? Oh yeah! I picked you. I'm the geek. Well, color me flattered. Flebus gets the name. After hanging around so long, you must be starving. Food! I'm starving! That might explain the whole starving thing. That might explain the whole stinking thing, too. What? Children playing with a mutilated horse head is a beautiful thing. This. Disgusting, but at the same time, adorable. Hey, McGee! Look at all my awesome, gorgeous, expensive trophies! <laughs> <laughs> my lame, pathetic, worthless trophies. <laughs> that moldy horse head is repulsive, disgusting, stinky, and it will be mine! I brought you some Betty Bye tea. Thanks, Squirt. Hmm, this really hits the spot. You mean it really hits the floor. Come on, time to hit the sack. Night, Night Flea Biscuit. Biscuit. Night, campers. You're the best trophy ever. Thanks for picking me, McGee. <laughs> I was afraid this would happen. McGee, wake up, it's coming. No, Rosebud, I didn't eat the couch, it was squirt. Flea Biscuit, where are you going? I don't know. I gotta get away. Listen, reindeer, do you think it's Santa? It's too late. We've gotta hide. Hurry! What do you think? You sure ain't Santa? I've been a good boy this year. Is that... Flea Biscuit's body? <laughs> it's found me. What was I thinking? Of course it would find me. I'm doomed. <gasps> Your body is very talented. No, it's not. I can't go back, McGee. You don't know the awful things it'll make me do. <laughs> Easy, pal. He's got to go through us first. That's what I'm afraid of. If my body can't have me, it'll take another head instead. <gasps> but I use my head for many head-like things. Okay, if he wants a head, we'll give him one. What? Places, everyone, this is not a rehearsal. All right, Armand, action! I shall give the performance of a lifetime, much as I did as shrub number three in my elementary school's production of Sally Salamander's horrifying tale, Chills in Shrub Town. Nay! 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 Here it comes! Ah, bonjour. Welcome to Lake Bottom's House of Heads. What every pretty pony is wearing this spring. Pure pumpkin perfection. See? What did I tell you? Of course. And no pumpkin for Monsieur. Ah, the bucket look. So you. Gelatin. Fashionable and delicious. Mwah. I think he's buying it. <laughs> This isn't working, McGee. You have to let it take me. Listen to the horse. Nice horsey. No, no, it's happening. I can't look. Everyone stay cool. My head comes off all the time. Mine doesn't. It's okay, guys. 
My body will show your bodies the ropes. Lesson one, stay out of the lake. See, there's no choice, McGee. You've got to give me up. No, there's still a chance. Ah! Uh, maybe you're right. Sorry, Flea Biscuit. OK, horse, your head is all yours. <laughs> you mean, oh, mine? Good luck with the back end, bottom losers. <laughs> Easy, horsey. Let's not lose our heads over this. <laughs> You don't know what you're dealing with, kid. You better bring me back. Stuff it, horsehead. Hey, Suze, I got McGee's weird, smelly horse trophy. Took you long enough. Ow! Why did you want it again? Oh, phew, this thing does stink. Bye-bye, horsey. Wow! Uh-oh. Ah! Wait, did you get me a pony? Yeah! Take it back, I don't want a pony. I don't have your smelly old head anymore. No offense. Ah! You did not just put me with the gross zombie and the stinky oh. hairball. Hello? Can I be upgraded to first class? Look, Princess, it's no treat being saddled with you, either. Get your ear out of my face! We're too late! The body got here first! McGee! Flea Biscuit! My body has struck again. We've got to stop it! Oh, we'll stop it, all right. Your body forgot one thing. Two heads are better than none! Oh, horsey! You can't get me, horsey! <laughs> Maybe we could settle this over a shiny red apple? Hey, wait, Brett! Why don't you come play horseshoes with me? <sighs> Here, horsey, horsey. This is all my fault. Your friends are losing their heads because of me. Don't worry, Flea Biscuit. We're taking them back together. <laughs> Dig in your heels. Atta boy. This is worse than the barfinator at Ride World. Hold on, McGee! You see? Evil! Would you stop it, horse? I'm trying to give you back your head. Yeah, there, there. I know it's scary without a head. Just ask Butt Squat. I may not have a body, but I still have ears. Steady, boy, don't be afraid. A head needs his horse. I mean, a horse needs his head. Oh, no! Here it comes! Here it comes! This might not have been such a good idea. Well, you might be right, Gretch. <laughs> good job, McGee. That was using your head. You know what they say. You gotta use it or lose it. Oh, no! Not this! Anything but this! It's so horrible, I can't even look! My body wants me to tap dance, and it's a terrible dancer! This is why you were so scared? Come on! Actually, he's pretty good. Yeah, check it out. You rock! Hey, what do you know? My body's been practicing while I was gone. I am good! Hello! Still waiting! Rehead us and make it snappy! Oh, let's go. I have a splitting headache. That's odd, Susie. I always thought of you as more a pain in the neck. You can keep your loser trophy, McGee. So long, bottom dweebers. <laughs> you want to tell them? Ah, uh, let them figure it out. Bad finish, Flea Biscuit! <laughs> tails from my mom. Or not. Another pot holder for my mother. I made this for my mom. <laughs> Don't worry, Fluffy. I'll make you one later. <laughs> Your mommy's lucky to have kids like you. Oh, that reminds me. Sawyer, can you mail this postcard to my mom? 
Sure. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Zombuddy? <laughs> Got something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep loving your mamas. Ew, he turned my pot holder into a snot holder. Hello? I just wanted to call and say hi. What? No, I'm not changing my mind and I'm not moving back home. What's up with Sawyer? No worries. It's a family thing. Never get involved with other people's family things. Hello? Oh, he can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> really? Great idea, sure. You got a pen? Gonna help Sawyer out with his family thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that? You're already here. Sawyer's gonna be so surprised that you're a zombie. Well, aren't you the smart one? Must be that big, juicy brain. Zombie mom! Oh, where's the fire, campers? Zombie! <laughs> Doing here? Ah! My baby! But, 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 but how did you find me? Just trying to help. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thanks for ruining my afterlife, but Inski. <laughs> Introduce me to your little feast. I, I friends. Mom, these are my campers, who are not for snacking. Campers, this is my mother. Nice to eat you. <laughs> okay, let's get you on tap. Didn't exactly think the whole zombie mom thing through, did ya? Who'd have thunk a zombie's mom would be a zombie mom? Sorry I messed up, Sawyer. I thought you missed your mom. I did. I do. It's just my mom always treats me like a little kid. Plus, she's kind of crazy for... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen her since I gave up brains to run Camp Lake Bottom. Remember, keep your weapons close and your eyes open. You never know when she may strike! Sweet dreams, campers! Great! How are we gonna survive the night with Zombie Mom wandering around with a bad case of the munchies? We let her know the snack bar is closed. I'll take guard duty. No one gets by Eagle Eye McGee. Huh? Ah! Back, Undead Beast! I mean, Mrs. Undead Beast! Let him go! Time for breakfast! She seems nice. I like her, except for the brain-eating part. <laughs> Looks like someone's been messing with family business. McGee! <laughs> Mom, you can't just wander around trying to snack on my campers. Oh, don't be mad. I made your favorite cookies. Ginger brainies. Ginger b, b brainies Well, I guess one couldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you look precious. Who's mommy still a zombie? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen sharpening my knives. Scream if you need me. <laughs> cool! I have the same sailor suit! I just want to take a peek. This is disturbing on so many levels. Don't you want to come home with Mommy? Maybe, Mommy. Don't you want to eat ranks again? <gasps> well, I, um, 
Sometimes. No, Mommy! Sawyer, don't listen to her! But she's my mommy! I just want you to be happy! And he... <laughs> Is that so wrong? Hands off our buddy's brain! Are you gonna offer her a snack? That's all I could find. Ah. Let him go! All your fighting is tearing me apart! <laughs> Didn't mean Mickey upset you, dear. <laughs> That's okay. Mommy's going to tell you a dead time story. Yay! A story! Once upon a time, there was a good little zombie who loved his mommy, ate up all his brains, and grew big and strong. Brains! That's it, sweetie. Take a nice little dirt nap. Uh, I think it's time to go. No, Sawyer needs us. No, he needs his mommy. So, my sweet little undead boy's coming back home to be what he's meant to be. <laughs> that was a short nap. Brain! 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 I'm so proud of my zombie. Now let's go get some brains. No, oh, I thought I'd never find my way home. Oh! Armand, Sawyer, and his mom. It's a mom's apocalypse! It's a what? They want to eat our brains! Oh. To the mess hole! I'll hold them off! Rawr! Rosebud, let us in! Pass one, please. Ah, that's it! One second! Brains! <laughs> Rosebud! Now would be good. <gasps> it's a madhouse out there. Armand, um, how did you get in? The back door was open. Good thing, too. Otherwise, I'd be stuck outside with those zombies. Nuts! <laughs> how much you love her by eating McGee's brains. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer, no! <gasps> My postcard! Sawyer, listen to this! Dear Mom, I love Camp Lake Bottom, especially my counselor, Sawyer. No! Don't listen to him! <laughs> he keeps us more or less safe and makes every moment at Lake Bottom fun, fun, fun! Love McGee. Um, P.S. He doesn't eat brains. Like ever! You... You wrote to your mom? <laughs> About me? Oh. Sawyer! Finish your brains or there's no dessert! <laughs> brains! <laughs> no more brains! You hear that, Mom? <laughs> oh. Now you sit! And listen! Do I lie awake at night dreaming of scooping out the camper's brains and eating them like ice cream? Sir! But I don't! Because being a camp counselor is my true dream. And Camp Lake Bottom is my home now. And if you can't handle it, Mom, <laughs> just go! This is all your fault. You're a bad influence. <laughs> no, Mom. This is my choice. These little brains aren't for easy. Please, Mommy. Okay, Sonny. What a great mom. Except for the brain-eating part. Ah, uh, Group hug! <laughs> or not. I'm good either way.
That's when the voice said, Get out now! The killer pineapple is inside the outhouse! Ah! <laughs> that almost scared the life back into me! I'm never gonna eat pineapple in the outhouse again! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Come on, Gretch! We're camping on Screech Island! There's gotta be something here that scares you! Nope. How about this? Nope. This? Nope. Now that's got to scare you. Nope. Like I said, nah. Chip. What was that all about? Whatever. Good night. <laughs> Rise and scream, campers! Well rested and ready, ready to, to explore! Uh, didn't sleep a wink. You! Now that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Who wrecked our stuff? Hello, little guy. Want a peanut? It! It did this! Uh, Gretch, that's a chipmunk. You know, fuzzy, cute chipmunky. Don't let the cuteness fool you. Look into its demonic eyes. Uh, Gretch, there's no way a chip... Isn't it obvious? That stripy cream tore up our camp! Get real! Something a lot huger than a chipmunk made this bite! Don't you get it? They're thieves, hoarders, liars! They have expandable cheeks. That chipmunk is evil! Good one, Gretch! You really had me there! Aw, he's just a cute chipmunk. All he wants is a little something to eat. Be careful, Squirt! He's deadly. Oh. He has an appetite for blood! Oh, you really are afraid. Chipper wouldn't hurt anyone. What's your boy? Come on, just feed the chipmunk. It won't bite. Okay, I can do this. The awesome power of friendship. Here, little evil chipmunk. Nice evil chipmunk. Don't rip my arm. Not the best hiding place. No! He's gonna eat me alive! Ah! Worst case of chipmunkophobia I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I told Dad to get the power. Check me out! What do you want, butt squat? Where's McGee and the rest of Camp Loser Bottom? I want to see them drool over my new chopper. We will never talk! We are like brick walls, iron girders, stone towers! We gave a solemn promise not to reveal their whereabouts. Really? Not even for club-sized vital baboon hair gel? A Screech Island camping trip. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha, suckers! Wall. What? It's hard to get decent hair products out here. Oh. Here, Chipper Chipper! Stop feeding the chipmunk! It's evil, I tell ya! But there's not much to eat around here. Then let it starve! <laughs> Something with a mighty big appetite must live on this island. And it's got chubby cheeks, beady little eyes, and a dried up black heart! <laughs> hey, bottom dwellers, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are and see my insanely cool chopper. Is that you, McLoser McGee? I see you. <laughs> that, campers, is a terror scream. We zombies hear a lot of those. 
Chipmunk! Like I said, we hear a lot of those. I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Relax, Gretchen. Here, Tipper, Tipper. Oh! Ah! Our boat! Okay, that's not good. Don't you see? It's one step ahead of us. We're trapped. Trapped, I tell ya! Come on, Gretch, you gotta drop it. What is it, Squirt? There's something there, and it's coming this way. So why aren't we going the other way? Ah! Don't listen to it! Guys! Chipper knows where it's safe. Follow that chipmunk. Guys, no, it's a trap. Well, it was a for me. Hmm, he's gone. Anybody know where we are? <gasps> hey, losers. for blood. Fire! You were right, Gretch. It is an evil monster chipmunk from the underworld! You think? Okay, it's just the three of us. Okay, just the two of us. Okay, it's just me. What about me? Okay, butt squat. And what do you think we do about it? Um, uh, uh, I'll stay here and be the lookout while you go and rescue everyone. Like I said, I'm all alone. Hey, Chipper, give me back my friends. Okay, I'm done doing lookout. Come back and save me first. Hello? Hello? I'm coming for you, Sawyer. Oh, whoops. I'm coming for the rest of you, Sawyer! Okay, now I got you. <laughs> Squirt, get Butt Squad out of there. That chopper is our only way off the island. About time. See ya, losers. <laughs> you guys take Sawyer. I'll hold off the rat. Hey, look, a peanut! That'll teach you to mess with Camp Lake Bottom! <gasps> hey, who chomped my awesome chopper? Oh, right. I bought us some time. Let's go! Go where? That chipmunk had my rotors for dinner. Do something, McGee! How are we gonna fix those blades? Like this? Thank you, Sawyer! Always happy to lend a hand. And a leg. <laughs> go, go, go! Now that's the 
the Gretchen we know and love? Yay, Gretchen! You know, we'd still be trapped on Screech Island if it wasn't for my awesome new helicopter! Time to feed another rodent. Oh, enough with the peanuts! For too long, we've settled for beaded wallets and world's best Bigfoot mugs. It's time to get serious about arts and crafts. Hmm. A bit low on supplies. Ooh! A mystery pot of ancient clay! Imagine the fabulous creations you can sculpt with this. And here's some dry macaroni. Macaroni! <laughs> I love my life. I love my life. Ancient clay? Seriously? True art is a reflection of the artist, not the medium. Yeah, art. <gasps> hey, do you know what rhymes with art? <laughs> I'm a butt face. <laughs> Historical, edible, and functional. Gobble, 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 gobble. I made a woodpecker. What have you got, McGee? Introducing my muddy buddy, Clinton. <laughs> Hi, I just flew in from Mudville, and boy, are my arms dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy gold! <sighs> and of course, some ancient clays are more magical than others. Mix ancient clay with human breath to create your very own golem. Golem? Golem, a magical servant that will follow any order. Hmm. Caution, makers of ancient golem clays are not responsible if your golem falls in love and disobeys commands. Ooh, sounds romantic. Um, a personal servant that follows all my commands? Sweet! Hey, golem! How about a dance? Oh. <laughs> okay, you can stop now. Awesome! Oh, the possibilities. Come on, Clayton. Ah, another successful day in the arts. What a great day for a stroll. For a juggle. Right, Clayton? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better you than us, my friend. Bon appetit, mud bud. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful. Wish I could see it again. Clayton. Ah. But it can't be good for the rest of the planet. What? Okay, seriously? What's next, Golem Gang? How about kickboxing? Uh. Ooh, can Clayton make waffles with a side of waffles? Then we can write poetry about waffles? We could do all that right after our prank horrific helicopter ride. <laughs> uh. <Hey. Woo> <laughs> hey, hey. Scanning, scanning. Prank target acquired. Victim number one. <laughs> 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 Good one. You got me, campers. <laughs> Ah, I love the smell of swamp softener in the morning. <laughs> hmm, not bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, first the sun and now fish. My weatherman is so fired. <laughs> Aha, unsuspecting villagers. <laughs> Flee before the devastating might of Godzilla. Your puny sandcastles will crumble beneath my colossal feet. <laughs> ah! The ground is eating me! <laughs> the sky and the ground may be against me, but nothing gets the butster down. 
What did I ever do to you, Sky? <laughs> <laughs> McGee. I should have known. Oh, relax, butt pimple. This is way more refreshing than the other shower prank I had in mind. Oh, yeah? Well, this b butt's gonna wipe the floor with you. Behold. Shenanigan butt. Not me, them. Well, he asked for it. Cannon Clayton Ball. <laughs> Treatment. Ah! Prank butt squat with world's biggest splash. Done and done. McGee! Uh, this is all your fault. Normally, I'd shake off this mud before shaking you down, but I can't. Until it's done, moisturizing and exfoliating my luminous yet sensitive skin. Oh, Clayton! Activate big sister protocol with extreme sisterness. Ah! If you think this walking mud pie can save you, you've got another thing coming. Ah. That's right, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Muddy. Is that mud hypoallergenic? I don't think so. I'm out of here! Uncle C Clayton, no! Heel boy! I... Hey, no! McGee! Call off your dirt bag! Clayton, put her down! Ah! What do you mean, no? Oh my gosh, McGee. I know why Clayton's not listening. Your golem's in love with <laughs> Susie. Ew! Ah! In love? With me? Hey, mud for brains. Shoulder, nap. This has possibilities. Clayton, get rid of these camp crashers with a side of brotherly banishment. Cool! A cannon! Oh, I wish I thought of that one. Also, run! Golem, cool me. Now! Oh. Man, every time I make a golem, it falls in love with my sister and tries to blow me up. Well, he'd fall out of love too to sweet if he knew Susie the way we do. Hmm, brilliant, Gretch. It's time Clayton got a face full of the real Susie. Oh, <laughs> hey, Suze. How's it going? If you've come to get your goal thingy back, you can't. He's mine now. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> But, um, what's with the palm leaf? That breeze couldn't blow out a candle. Whoa, you're right, bruh. More power, dirt face. Oh. <laughs> it is embarrassing how easy this is. Yo, you mud moron! I said more power, not more power! Look at my hair! Drop the sad puppy act. I'm not happy, so what are you gonna do about it? No! Let me go, you fucking mud pit! Hey! Oh, that golem's got it bad! Clayton! You put me down, you hunk of mud! Huh? Meh, been here, seen that. Whoa, that golem never gives up. Muddy hearts beat strong. Well, you got that right. Get ready. It's time for some tough love. <gasps> Lame! Oh. I don't care. Spare me the dramatics. Oh, I can't watch anymore. Hold her down! Oh, hey! <gasps> My mud treatment! Uh -huh. You do? Someday you'll meet the right mud dudette. Priorities, people! Hang on, Suze! I'll save you! Oh, no, you don't! My camp, my save! <laughs> oh, thank you, Rope. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Suze! Had it on auto shenanigan. It's all good now. Clayton, kick the robot's butt! I'll get Susie. <laughs> Mudbutt's back in business! That mud pie's gonna get a whoopee cushion whomping! 
Maker for nothing. Danny. He's a pooper. <laughs> no way! Armand was in the circus? He's screaming with joy! Circuses are the birthplace of happy. Well, you wouldn't know it from the mug on this guy. Okay, exception to the rule. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! I'm in the circus! Great idea, Squirt. Let's hang this in Armand's cabin to remind him of how much he loves the circus. And then, ta-da! Free circus lesson for us! Ah! Not the circus! Anything but the circus! But circuses are, are full of fun and, and popcorn. Everyone loves fun and popcorn, right? True. But I don't love heights, vertigo, forgetting to open my eyes, screaming, falling, screaming while falling, and then there's doofus. Hi! Who wants to fly? Her boy's having bubble trouble. Ain't so trap easy now, is it? <laughs> Clowns are really mean and bony. No wonder Doofy's so sad. Well, I know what'll make everyone happy, especially me. <laughs> and remember, the number one rule of tightrope walking is no falling. <laughs> falling, no falling, no falling! And you fell. You just have to think like a squirrel. Nutty and nuts, nuts and nuts! Who's ready to create bead magic? No! I beg you! Stop this insanity! Whoa! I knew you couldn't stay away! Welcome to McGee's Magnificent Mini Circus! Starring... You! No! No, 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 no way! I mean, no! I have to, um, shampoo my fur! Seriously? Fine. I'm scared of the circus, and I'm even more scared of doofus. Clowns are like spiders. They're more scared of us than we are of them. Except the really hairy ones. They'll make you poop your pants. Mm -hmm. No, thanks, Squirt. But I just can't shake the fear. Sometimes I still hear the <laughs> of his horn. That's weird. I can hear it, too. No, it can't be. Doofus <laughs> 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 is the name, and clowning around is my game. Flowers for the lady? Oh, well, thank you. Ow! <laughs> Good one. And no ringmaster is complete without a touch of class. Cool! <laughs> Ow? 
Come on, my bouncy old buddy. Ain't life weird? You just popped into the old noggin and whammo! Here you are. So you're not here to get revenge? No! Revenge for what, my broken funny bone? Nothing more hilarious than a broken funny bone. <laughs> Thanks, fur boy. All right, all right, enough sappy stuff. Doofus, what do you say to teaching us some circus skills? It would be my honor. Let's get cracking. <laughs> ah! oh, new friend, new friend. Presenting Gretch the Gretchtastic. <gasps> Forget the umbrella. You're a natural person. Whatever you say, clown boss. Now let's add a little bounce to this act. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, too bouncy. I'm coming, Gretchen. Doodle down, doodle down. Ah, I'm looking down. I'm looking down. Oh, I've got you. Go <laughs> It'll be crash-tastic! I don't think this is a good idea. You're right! It's not a good idea. It's a great idea! I can't watch. Ready, set, smash! I mean, go! Be careful, oil you might slip! Stop, stop! <laughs> Okay, circus is over. Pack up the tent and say bye-bye. Armand, please don't send Doofus away. We only need to do one more spectacular act. Please! Oh, if I agree to perform, do you promise to forget all about this crazy circus once and for all? Oh, oh, cross our hearts. And hope to fly. Fine. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Yes! We're ready for the big job, big time, Doofy! <laughs> Let's put on a killer show! <laughs> Presenting, high on the trapeze, the falling bottoms! Shouldn't that be flying bottoms? And on the ramp, the doomed daredevils! Gretchen! Of doom, right? And her partner, Balloon Guy. <laughs> Don't you mean? Balloon Guy works. <laughs> now for the most dangerous show on earth. In the last act, you can't will ever perform. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dear dummies. Don't keep me waiting. Armand, remember how you said Doofus is evil and I said, nah, and you said, no, really, he is? Well... <laughs> oh, I know. I was so right. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Balloon Cat says turn that evil frown upside down. Also, meow. <laughs> he was only a kitten! <laughs> you scared for the stunt. How about some chickens for the chickens? <laughs> Chicky cross the camp! Ah! A clever variation on classic roadway humor. Would it be to get to the other side? Wrong! <laughs> to pack your campers to their doom. <laughs> what? That's not even a joke. No chicken chum of mine would ever. Oh! Lewis! How could you? You guys are the hottest act in town! 
get swinging, or the chicky keeps pecking. Your choice. Now, get swinging! <laughs> Looks like we have no choice. Ah, uh, don't do it, guys. Doofus is so unfunny, it's not even funny. Aw, oh, I don't tickle your funny bone. Well, maybe this will give you a laugh. A Sasquatch with a bad haircut. Armand! If you don't catch me, we're going up in flames! <laughs> Ah! Ah! I did it! Did you see me fly? Payback time, you flea-bitten shag carpet! <laughs> Not the spandex, sir! Uh, how about this, then? Oh! <laughs> Armand, you're on fire! We'll be on fire if you guys don't hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Look, getting back that sweater I borrowed, Lewis. Oh, and your subscription to popular mechanical chicks? Consider it cancelled! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Armand! <laughs> what? One order of rubber chicken to go! <laughs> Actually, this is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The flying Bigfoot still got it! <laughs> this calls for an encore! <laughs> Ta -da! Perfect landing! Oh, yep. Clowns sure are bony. You haven't heard the last of me, Arma! <laughs> Lewis, how could you? Dancing fairies are exploding. Don't push the groove. Feel it. Oh, oh, I'm feeling it. The question is, bam! Are you? Oops, gotta find my shoe. And uh, ring, ring, ring. Oh, why, yes, I would love to hear about your special promotion. Every detail. You're trying too hard. Just let the music flow through you. Yeah, you're right. This music doesn't flow with my sophisticated boogie. Let's see here. That's, uh... Ooh, wicked cover! Now that there is a groove worthy of... Oh, oh. Hey! What are you doing? This isn't a record. It's the ancient Papayan Doomsday Calendar. Dance Off is cancelled. Everything is cancelled. What? How come? On account of the end of the world. Nice one. McGee danced the forbidden Eclipse Ellipso. Hang on. What's an Eclipse Ellipso? The Eclipse Ellipso summons the dreaded Moon Dervish. The Dervish uses the power of the Eclipse to rot the entire world. A uh, question? Why do we store doomsday devices in the record box? Hush. The Moon Dervish can only be appeased by a Sunsquatch, who must dance spectacularly before the eclipse ends. Otherwise, the world is doomed. <laughs> it was good knowing you, campers. <laughs> Lucky we've got our very own Sunsquatch. Oh, finally, my debut. <laughs> Mimi, my Momu, 
and sometimes <coughs> a little parched. One whistle wetter coming up. A tea, please. Medium boiled, stirred counterclockwise. Helps my dancing flow. Make it quick, Whistle Retto. The moon's horizon. Come on, kettle, boil already. Oh, finally. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. I don't know. Mo? Hmm. One throat soothing cup of tea, courtesy of your pal, Mickey. Just what the sun. <sighs> Snooze root tea. Guaranteed to knock out your stress, Bigfoot, for days. You just conked out the world's only hope for salvation. Well, there, there's got to be an antidote, right? Right? <gasps> ah, too late! <laughs> That's the moon, Dervish? He doesn't look so scary. Hi, welcome. I hope you like flowers. See, guys, what did I tell you? He's actually a... <laughs> a horrible, horrible monster! <laughs> Destroy! Squirt, Sawyer, you gotta wake up our sun squad so he can get dancing. <laughs> Holler when he's awake! We gotta stall Mooney before he destroys everything! But how? Maybe he's hungry? Oh! I'm a delicious, distracting hot dog! <laughs> Welcome to the End of the World Diner. I'm your waiter, McGee. Huh? What do you have? Uh, dervish hungry for... Destroy! <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, one smashing rat with a side of destroy! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 Wakey, wakey, Armand. Oi, Squatches. We've been scuttled. Got any bright ideas? Just one. Clear. <laughs> That'll cure what eels ya. <laughs> All we got left is rotten onions, frozen slugs, <laughs> and Sawyer's legs. Not much meat on those. <laughs> Dervish done dinner! Destroy! McGee, come on! Just as soon as I save Sawyer's legs, we gotta fly. <laughs> Reminds me of my days in the flying pahogies. <laughs> awesome! You can't run what's already run! Zombie legs away! <laughs> You're too tense, Mooney. How about a soothing mud spa? Kill lights! Guys, any movement on the Sun Squatch front? Still snoozing! Man, that snooze root tea would put down an elephant. Or a moon dervish. I made this cup extra strong. Just what the sun. <laughs> Dervish, destroy! Stole him! You got it! Ha! What? <laughs> kind of a one trick pony, aren't you? It's Sun Squatch time! Thank you! Thank you! Good to be here at the end of the world. Is that you, Moon Dervish? Come on over, you crazy guy. Oh! Dervish likes shows! Audience members can't go backstage, sir. You got a front row seat, cause Dervish, baby, this show's for you! Whoa! Hey! This Sun Squatch lives for the thrill! McGee, the show must...
must go on. Not on and on and on. Get to the dance. All right, we'll dance. Right after the big finish. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, meant to do that. Show over! Destroy, Sun Squatch! Destroy everything! Wake up, Armand! You're missing the end of the world! Generally, chickens don't get along with mimes. Everyone get to high ground! Get the music going! I gotta get our Sun Squatch dancing! Be destroyed! <laughs> I got this! Oh, yeah, getting funky. Yeah. It's totally working, isn't it? <laughs> Sun Squatch, bad dancer! He's right. I can't dance. We're doomed! Let's get to the higher ground. Uh, let's check the B side. <laughs> Ah, that's better. Try again, McGee. That's it. Let the music flow through you. Yeah! You're right, Gretch. Look at me hustle my bustle. Work it, McGee! Work it faster! Trick Dervish! Destroy! Huh? Yep! Save the world! Yay! <laughs> I've never felt so refreshed. What did I miss? Oh, just saving the world. Same old, same old. So the Sun Squatch came through as expected. Let us celebrate with dance. Let the music flow through me. Congratulations on your purchase of a Digmaster 4000. Caution. Oh, forget the instructions. I've dug thousands of fire pits. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> this is going to be the best beast feast in Lake Bottom history. Ow! Ow! When the warmest. I can't wait to celebrate Beast Feast. Beast Feast is awesome. I love Beast Feast. What's Beast Feast? You don't know what Beast Feast is? I, uh, tell him, Gretch. Mm, you got me, Armand. Uh, uh, the origin of Beast Feast. Uh, well, the legend is long and clouded in the mists of time. Right. You don't know either. Who cares? More firewood! Uh, you call this stack and wood? Talking log! <laughs> can we keep him? Can we keep him, please? Can, can I knit him a hat? Can I knit him a rocket? Hi, I'm McGee. This is Gretchen, that squirt Sawyer and I'm on. Oh, Greetings! I knit you socks for hey. your old man feet! I ain't deaf, you squeaker. Sorry you were almost kindling. Back when I was a bottom dweller, we got used for firewood pretty much every day, and no one complained. You were a bottom dweller? That's right. Pose the name. 
I got lake bottom deep in my bones, along with the rheumatiz. These bones could use a hand out of this fire pit. Looks like you youngins are prepping for Beast Feast. Oh, those were the good old days. You were at an actual Beast Feast before? Awesome! Yep, back in the day it was BYOBB. Bring your own Beast Buddy. This year's me and Lou. Except my old buddy Lou's been missing for years. Hmm. We'll help you find him, right, guys? Sure we can. Squirt here is a regular bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> help from two kids and an awkward dog boy? That'll be the day. But the hey, let go! Go dang fines! <sighs> Guess today is the day. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for the help, little lady. Anytime. What do you say we help you find Lou now? Oh, this here collar used to belong to Lou. You think your awkward dog boy can track this? You betcha. Find the scent. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Good boy. Oh! <laughs> We're coming for you, Lou. <laughs> well, brush my dentures. You found our old sleeping quarters. Uh, it's not much of a cabin, is it? In my day, we didn't need no fancy cabins, and no one complained. Wait, we all complained. But no one complained about the complaining. It smells like burnt toast. All I'm getting is pure lake bottom history. Oh, wait, and some dirty undies. Uh, the undies is me. History? What's with the burn marks? Those must have been on account of Lou. That's a sure sign he's been here. He always was the rowdy one. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you guys had a blast. Oh, you got something, boy? <laughs> Come on, campers. Hey, two for two. Good boy. <laughs> you found our old watering hole. It ain't changed a bit. Oh, pretty. Oh, awesome. As long as you don't breathe. Thank you, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Lou used to do the same thing. <laughs> Look here. Those are fresh burn marks. Lou must have been here, too. This was our leaping hot lizard rock. Your leaping hot what? Our leaping hot lizard rock. See? Of course, I forgot how to swim. Old man overboard! God, sorry. I didn't ask for no help. I asked for... Uh, was it oatmeal? <laughs> I suppose if I did ask for help, I should probably say thanks. Ah, forget about it. We're all bottom dwellers, right? Why don't we get you back to the fire to warm up? Warm up? We're already hot on Lou's trail. Come on, Sniffer. <laughs> That's the spirit. No stop until we find Lou. Are you sure this is the right way? Your hound sure knows his nose. If I'm not mistaken, just up this here hill is where I first found Lou. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey, does anybody want to sing a camp song? That ain't a bad idea. Bottom dwellers, take the cake. Do da, do da. Don't poke your toe in the toxic thing. Do da, da. Your built-in airbag saved me from that fall. Anytime. <laughs> and you found the spot where we used to play for hours. Let me guess, Lou burnt it. <laughs> Come on, Poe, try for old time's sake. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> Kids, <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since the old days with Lou. I'm well, sorry we couldn't find your best beast buddy for you. I appreciate it, but I found some new best friends at least. <laughs> That's the lake bottom spear. <laughs> oh. what? what was that? I forgot I had this. Lou's favorite toy. Come on, Bo. You're officially our guest at Beast Feast. Yeah! Good news, guys. Poe's joining us for Beast Feast. Perfect timing. Ten seconds to midnight and we just finished the fire pit. Anybody got a match? Thanks for having me, kids. But I sure do wish Lou was here. Aw, oh, don't be down, Poe. Lou's here in spirit. Here's to friends old and new. And the best Beast Feast ever. <laughs> Oh, 
shut my gob. Lou sure got big. That's Lou. <laughs> Boy. Easy! Uh oh. Mickey, lose the squeaky toy! <laughs> hey, kids, you dropped your. Squeaky <laughs> toy! I feel so exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Squirt, what are you doing? Sorry, I kind of got caught in the woman. Right! Go right! Yeah. I think we lost him. <laughs> wow, he is exceedingly good at this. Run! Squirt, that's the squeaky! You've got to be kidding me. Take cover! Shh, maybe he'll just take the squeaky and go. campers. We tried. That's okay. Mom always said it would end like this. <laughs> Lou, you silly beast. <laughs> Playing a little rough with our friends, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember me, Lou? It's me, Poe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I miss you too, old best buddy, old pal. <laughs> you kids okay? Oh, Lou can get a little rowdy. Uh, we love rowdy. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Now, what do you say we kick this here beast feast bonfire into overdrive? The problem is, we still need a match. <laughs> well, you got Lou. You don't need any matches. Right, Lou? <laughs> I'm already planning for next year's Bring Your Own Best Beast Feast. I'm gonna bring a frogalope. Ooh, I'm gonna bring a catapus. Oh, and I'm gonna wrangle me an alopotamus. <laughs> I hope you and Lou can join us next year. You got it. Thanks for having us. Later, friends. Now let's get you home, Lou. <laughs> to the best beast feast ever! Oh, bye, bye, bye. Bye. See you next year! Wait, Lou! You forgot your squeaky! Squirt! No! no! Went to the bathroom, smells like a rotten egg. Ladies first, Mick holding in. Excuse me, emergency gangway. <laughs> hey, that's my last roll. Stand back, campers. <laughs> the hiney hisser is a notorious biter of bottoms. And triple ply. So long, toilet paper. You are my butt's best friend. There you go, camper. Super absorbent muggly moss. Your butt will be in butt heaven. Thanks, Sawyer. I was afraid I'd have to get handy. Wow! Where'd you learn all that? In Zombie Scouts. 
I always wanted to be a zombie scout leader, just like my mom. <sighs> but she said I wasn't ready. Well, you could be our zombie scout leader. <gasps> really? Yeah, we'd be wicked zombies. Brains! I'm in. <laughs> in a second. Zombie scouts, inspection time! <laughs> you call those uniforms? Where's the filth? The bite marks! <laughs> now you look like zombie scouts. Sir, yes, sir! First lesson, smoke signals. This one tells other zombies, mess with my brains and you're dead to me. Whoa, 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 check it out. Smoke jokes. Hey, what do zombies wear when it rains? Raincoats. <laughs> Actually, you just said, attention, all zombies, free brains. If there were zombies around, you'd be in deep undead to do. If you lily-livered humans want to be zombie scouts, you're gonna smell like zombies. Now get stanky. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> the swamp is extra ripe today. Oh, so am I. Instant stankification. <laughs> <laughs> There's something out there! And I'm pretty sure it's not us. Yeah, right, fakers. <gasps> ah! I got you, Gretchen! I got you, Squirt! Brains! Mom? Sawyer? My baby! I saw smoke signals and thought I'd pick up a snack! What are you wearing? <clears throat> It's his scout leader uniform, and we're his zombie scouts. Brains. <laughs> Some zombie scout. Uh. Hey, your parts don't even come off. Mama better tag along. Right, son? Okay, but you gotta promise. No brains. Scouts honor. Now let's get groaning. Yeah. No, Mom. We're gonna lurch next. She promised to give up brains, but she did not mention intestines. Yeah, this could be a bad idea. Look, the only thing on the menu is helping Sawyer impress his mom. Besides, what's one extra zombie? <laughs> Come on, punch those backs, sack those jaws. What is the point of lurching without groaning? <laughs> You call that a groan? This is a groan. <laughs> Mom, you don't want him to summon a sub vulture! Exactly, Camper. Well, if they did, then they'd learn to fight it off like proper zombie scout. Yeah, you don't want to eat me. My flesh is too tender and supple. Yeah. <laughs> What to do? What to do? Ha! <laughs> there! See? Those are zombies! Mother! I can do this myself. Okay, Scouts, next challenge. Let's hope the next challenge isn't so challenging. Oh. Guys, relax! What could one zombie do? <laughs> Uh, what's with the blindfolds? Zombies have to put themselves together even when their eyes fall out. Let's see how you do putting this pile of severed and mangled body parts together. Blindfolded. Stop coddling these scouts and give them a real test. Before you can put your parts back together, you have to find them first. Now get scavenging. Mission accomplished, sir. 
Uh, super job, Scouts. Moving on. Don't say a word. Thanks for the help, Digger. I saw that. How can you be zombie, Scouts, if you can't dig your own grave? <laughs> Digging's easy. Digging out is a test fit for a zombie. Mm-hmm. Undig my campers and stop poking your nose in my troop. This rotting nose knows where it's not wanted. Mom, wait. <laughs> it's just a rig of mortars talking. Mom, come back, please. Uh, Sawyer, <laughs> aren't you forgetting something? <sighs> He'll be right back. Anyone know any head games? I spy with my little eye something that is... Zombies! <laughs> Mom, why'd you shamble off like that? Well, now that you're a big zombie with your own back, you don't need me. Uh -huh. well, I'll always need ya, but I gotta live my own afterlife. Ah! <gasps> We're surrounded! We have no place to hide! Then let's hide in the open! Gesundheit! Let's get to higher ground! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse! And right now, the most important thing is my... Sawyer! Campers! Get your undead paws off of my scouts! Ow! That's it! We're zombie toast! Who wants brains? Juicy, dripping and fresh! Oh, oh, good! Thanks for helping, but you promised no brains. I get my promise. That's a tofu turkey brain. The vegan brain substitute. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Zombie Scouts, you were trained by the best. And his mom. Now kick some zombie butt. We'll help you in the chiffy. Sawyer, dear, you've got your hand on backwards. Oh, Mom, I can assemble myself. Sir, yes, sir! These things fight dirty. Zombie scouts don't need eyeballs. Use your sniffer, scout. Gotcha! Ha! Smelled you coming a mile away. <laughs> Like an armadillo going down. <laughs> hey, McGee, catch! <laughs> That's right. I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> Here's a hat trick for you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this plan where we swing back in and all die together. Only one thing to do. Let's get lurching. Ah! No scouts, that's too screechy. You'll attract the zone vulture. Exactly. Now watch the birdie. Oh, wow. Thanks for all your help today, Mom. Anything for my zombie scout leader. Even the vegan brain substitute.
a party. I've never seen such a sparkly moon before. It matches my party shirt. Oh, ah, come on, Squirt. Raise the roof. Oh, now let's get our lake bottom bottoms jumping. Oh, those campers and their delightful hippie hoppy music. <laughs> no, no, not tonight. Not tonight. What's good tonight? Well, let me tell you, pal, our special, the Magilla Sunrise. Fruity, bubbly, and only slightly toxic. Your burps will never taste the same. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Hello, not smiling. Campers, you must shut this party down immediately. But why? Legends have been told that on a night just like this, with the disco ball moon, horrible things could happen if there is a party. Aw, but the disco ball moon is so sparkly. <laughs> How could horrible things happen when there's sparkles involved? Because the combination of the disco ball moon and a party summons the party animal. But who or what is the party animal? Where does it come from? No one knows! Huh. All we know is the party animal never stops getting down once the party starts. It lives off the partier's spirit. And if it gets enough, the party animal will continue to party down the legends say the only thing that stops the party animal is a lame party. Lameness disrupts the mystic funk of the disco ball moon and sends the party animal packing. Understand. Why don't you just party on a night when the disco moon There's doesn't... There's no time for your logic, Gretch. Just promise you won't party anymore tonight. Please. Oh. Ah. Uh, it's as if I can still hear our party. Where parties go to die. Yeah, it's a dying party, all right. It sounds like Butt Squad is having one of his box socials again. Sounds lame enough to keep the party animal away but we better check it out. Guys, can I at least keep my party shirt on? When I put on a box social, I literally put on a box social. Ugh. Can I get another box partner? This one is the worst date ever. Ew, who invited them? Butt Squad, call this, uh, well, whatever you call it, off. It is not safe, butt bouncer! Remove these bottom spellers from this private party. Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh no! Makilo Sunrise! <laughs> ah! No, no, no! I specifically locked out the butt bouncer party mode! McKee, how did we turn the lamest party ever into the coolest party ever? We gotta pull the plug before the party animal shows up. Come on, Gretch. If the party animal was gonna show up, it would have shown up by now. For all we know, it could be a million miles away from here. He makes a good point, Gretch. <laughs> Sounds like a party. Shut the fun down before the party animal decides to... Party <laughs> This party has some serious party down potential. Oh, yeah! Is that the party animal? I'm nauseous. Ah! I'm nauseous ah! with rhythm. Ah! You know, he may be 
be a party animal, but I kind of dig his party style. Too much party for the Sunny Smilers to handle. They're not used to laughing or having fun. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet! Ha ha! <laughs> Check it out! I'm kickboxing boxes and getting down! Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm doing some kind of dance. I wonder what it's called. Oh, yeah! I call this the Butt Squat Doocy. Jordan, I want a new dance partner. This one is boring. Now that is a real dance partner. Man, this party animal shindig is the best shindig I've ever shindug. Huh, and I've met such interesting people. <gasps> Get out! Come first! Wow! <laughs> hmm, you guys might be right. I mean, maybe the party animal isn't as bad as we thought. Everyone is having fun and... You're welcome, little peeps! <laughs> Rockin', then this party ain't stopping. Just look at him go. No more. Party on, Squirt. Party on. I take back what I said about being able to party all night long. Time for a party pick me up. Uh Not as bad as it looks. Maybe those sunny smilers want to dance until they all puke uncontrollably. That's the stuff! You dudes and dudettes have enough party spirit to keep me going forever! <laughs> Party animal, he'll make us all party forever. Ooh, sounds like a groovy idea. Oh. Hey, 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 I got an idea. Distract him. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Ooh, do I hear box socializing? Party animal. Total utter lameness. Hey, I have a treat for y'all. McGee's patented extra late in the party beatbox routine. Oh, yeah, boy. Wait, McGee, don't. Come on, wave your hands in the... In the air. <laughs> Never mind. You, you know go, you McGee. You know you want it. No! No! Too much! We did it! All thanks to your ultra-lame beatbox routine, McGee. Uh, yeah. That was the plan. I wasn't trying to start an epic beatbox off that would have gone down in party history forever. Nope. <laughs> Uh, Sawyer? The party animal? <gasps> oh. Oh. Thanks, campers. You know, for some strange reason, I always seem to fall apart every disco ball moon. Weird, huh? Yes, of uh -huh. course. Uh-huh, weird. Yeah. 
And my thumb always kind of hurts, too. Owie. And another classic Sunny Smiles box social comes to an end. Get him out of here! <laughs> today. Trying, I'm gonna finally get back to the right lake bottom timeline. Change the past. Today's the day. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> Sorry, me. Today ain't the day. Focus, old McGee. Focus. <laughs> it's them and me. I did it. <laughs> Mag tag, you're it. Ah, a club it good. Whoa! Strange dude with a club! Ah! Oh! Upper catch you, McGee! Ah! <laughs> My secret tickle spot! How'd he know? How did he know? <sighs> Not how to do the trick. Wow, strange old dude who saved my life? Wait, is it just me or do you look familiar? And smell even more familiar. That's because I am you. I know, hard to believe, right? Why not? Much stranger things always happen at Camp Lake Bottom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this old guy, me? I think we need a McGee verification test, huh? Yeah, all right. Whoa, oh, I haven't exerted my pit muscles like that in years. It's true, I'm him, you're me, we're us. Oh, wow. I mean, I totally thought we'd be taller, but come here, me. Ow, ow, my middle-aged vertebrae. So, what are you doing back in our time anyway? Glad you asked, Gretch, because the answer is of the gravest, most important, uh, importance. Well, important schmarptance. It's not every day I get to hang out with another me. Come on. Let's have some fun, huh? Okay. I am up for some crosswords. Huh? If the print isn't too small. Um, I'm sorry. Crosswords? What kind of monster have I become? No, you don't understand. I had to give up all the classic McGee fun just to survive. I came back. Because today is the very day that you save us from forgetting how to have fun? I just hope it's not too late. No, no, quit it! Please, listen to me! I'm on an important mission to start a classic Mickey slime fight! <laughs> 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 Not comes from bees! Ah! 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 
<laughs> and that's why I wear bug spray for the underarm deodorant. <laughs> I... Oh, the forgotten hamburger meat. Maybe I'll use it to make a barbecue for the staff. <laughs> no one's ever going to forget it, I tell you. Ever! <laughs> This is all just part of your remagining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old suit shoot! Oh, how I missed it! Oh, you passed the toilet paper? <laughs> hey, I totally forgot about Fizzy Falls! <clears throat> hey, way more bang for burp! Now that was a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> You had one job, Mickey, and you blew it! <laughs> you totally blew it! <laughs> Easy, old McGee. It's just a bit of indigestion. Happens to everyone. I'm sorry, but I gotta head back to my reality and start searching the Lake Bottom timeline again to get back here before that barbecue. The meat was filled with monster virus. <gasps> it transformed the monsters into evil versions of themselves, hungry for bottom-dweller flesh. Is that why you didn't bring along the older Gretchen and Squirt? Well, let's just say that you were probably delicious. <gasps> uh, hey, me! You might have missed that barbecue, but every McGee knows you don't travel back into the void of time and space until you come up with a classic McGee's zany plan of action. Ooh, now that does look zany. We used our combined McGee know-how to build the most powerful suction device ever. Yeah, it'll suck virus molecules out of anything. And it's environmental, too. It runs on pre-used TP. <laughs> hey, come on, pay attention, guys. If you don't know how to use this incredibly complex machine, how else can we get the infected meat out of the monster's stomachs in the most disgusting way possible? I'm... Oh, hold on. I... Is there a bucket? <laughs> of course! Barfing! It's so simple! Anyone can do it! Like... So! In the future, Armand came back here for a post-barbecue nap. <gasps> Cuckoo! 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 No! Worst post barbecue nap ever! Continuing with Operation Upchuck, next up, Rosebud. Just one wriggle of this squirt spittle covered mutant worm in Rosebud's ear ought to flip her whole stomach inside out. I make guarantee it. Good plan. I'll try to locate Sawyer. He's the last one on our upchuck list. After Sawyer's done barfing, we should be in the clear. Ah! This isn't a time for your puke pranks. In fact, all your little slow up games might have made Sawyer seriously sick. Wait a sec. Ah! Evil infected Sawyer. I always forget that Sawyer knows how to use that time tree, too. Easy. <sighs> okay, guys, the mission is off. I, uh, kind of sort of accidentally brought back infected Sawyer. And <laughs> I just can't risk any of you getting bitten by him. <laughs> Good for you, Sawyer. Looks like you got your appetite back. We can still make Rosebud barf. We just have to totally avoid evil Sawyer. Ooh. <laughs> 50 years of skid marks ought to get Rosebud barfing. No! Bad, Sawyer! Very bad! Yeah! You're the cold, tidy whitey, McGee! Cold, tidy whitey! No, Sawyer! No! Don't eat those! Yeah, it says instead. Mmm, yummy meat! See? <laughs> nom noms! Hamburger. No, Rosebud! No. This meat is infected with a monster virus! Look what happened to Sawyer after he ate it! <laughs> <gasps> Sawyer! 
Does this mean Sawyer is acting this way because of me? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I'm such a bad cook. Making the other monsters sick <laughs> makes me so sick to myself. <laughs> oh, she means it literally! Run! Hey, campers, what's on the hubbub? <laughs> oh, there goes my stomach and my lunch. <sighs> I'm glad it's all over. <laughs> It's okay, McGee. This means we did it. We changed the future. Ah, now your destiny is wide open. Long live the fun. Anyone see my stomach? Yeah, good times. <laughs> sort of way, Turkey-saurus Rex. I don't call a giant mutated turkey harmless. I can't help it, Gretch. It's also dangerously delicious. <laughs> Easy, boy. Easy. <laughs> oh, I simply cannot pick up any Turkey-saurus Rex scent. Hmm. I got just the doodad. Uh, Armand, you do know that was my handy dandy, almost identical to a real turkey Saurus Rex call, don't you? <laughs> Necessary canceling Lake Bottom Harvest just because there's no Turkey Saurus Rex? McGee, you can't go against Harvest tradition. <laughs> oh, really? And what are you moaning about? I thought you hated Harvest. Hey, I like everything except for the Turkey Saurus eating. I even made a tofu Turkey Saurus. <laughs> 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 Sorry, campers. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how to get a turkey Saurus Rex. If only we had one, Lake Bottom Harvest would be back on. Oh, well. Hmm. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Not that. That. Not that. That. All right. Now, remember, guys, we got to think of the biggest, juiciest turkey sources ever. Easy. Not going on any interdimensional turkey source Rex hunt. We'll go to the potato dimension after. Hmm. Fine. Shh. Hear that? False alarm! It's just my stomach. Is this really necessary? Canceling giblet bottom harvest just because there's no humans to eat? <gasps> Those are the biggest and juiciest turkey sauruses ever. <laughs> humans? Are they really humans? We haven't had a roast human harvest dinner in years. Yes! It's a Camp Giblet bottom miracle. <laughs> I'll start the human stuffing. <laughs> you guys get him! <laughs> in any human hunt. I still might be able to save the tofu human from the fire! Run! <laughs> See you later, talking turkey sauruses! <laughs> 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 
No, we've got you. Oh, I'm so glad I installed a remote for this baby. Now let's deep fry their human skin. Look out! Harvest time is so such fun. Will in humans in a bun? Catch their drippings in a tub. Cook their kidneys in a Huh? I don't remember the harvest song going like that. I always thought it was. Turkey sources are delicious. Crack your pelvis to make some wishes. <laughs> Why was I off? You know, I personally can't believe how brutal these turkey saurus uses are. Imagine eating humans. Are you kidding me? McGee, this is the exact same thing you wanted to do. Tannis and turkey sauruses. Nope, totally not seeing your point. Uh, <laughs> even plumpers and I remember. She's on to do the trick! Lucky for you, I don't eat humans. I'm a turkey-saurus vegetarian. Yes! Put her there, turkey sister! <sighs> what? I never said it was easy being a turkey-saurus vegetarian. Have you tasted human lately? Oh, it's a delightful flavor sensation. <laughs> the giblet bottom portal. As promised, whatever you do, don't come back. Now there's just one more thing. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Bye. Bye. Hope to see you never. <laughs> I'm also so glad I installed a decoy portal on this baby. Giblet bottom harvest is saved. <laughs> now let's get these humans back to the kitchen. <laughs> Where do you think you're gobbling? <laughs> for the crime of trying to free our harvest meal, you will be cooked for the feast as well. <gasps> Wanted to try vegetarian turkey saurus. Oh, wait, this is not what the harvest is all about. You forgot the true meaning of harvest. It's not just about stuffing your ugly beaks. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you tell us what the harvest is about? Hey, what if we show you the real meaning of harvest instead? After the harvest pageant I'll put on, oh, you'll never want to eat us again. <sighs> You're all right, Turkey Saurus Squirt. You're all right, buddy. I hope you know what you're doing, McGee, because none of this stuff in your harvest pageant ever actually happened. Gretchen, this is exactly how the first harvest went down. I got it off the internet. So it's got to be true? Besides, who's the director here? <laughs> Uh... And that's why we have whipped scream at the harvest meal to battle the harvest zombies. is offensive to all turkey sources. Even I think this is going too far. We're losing the crowd. But I know just the way to get them back. Curtains! It's time for harvest to begin. You don't have to eat our skin. Some official Mickey Pageant apparel. Oh, oh, oh. Happy Giblet Bottom Harvest! Happy Giblet Bottom Harvest, everyone! The humans are right. 
We did forget the true meaning of harvest. It is time of thanks and peace. Well, that's settled. Let's eat! So a harvest pageant didn't change their minds. I guess it's time to go to Plan C. Plan C for cranberry sauce? Come on, guys! Time to side dish it out! stickiness forever! <laughs> oh, just one more sniff! Oh, that's the stuff! What about you? You're not safe in Giblet Bottom, not until after harvest. Oh, they try eating me every year. After one little nibble, they usually just give up. <laughs> See? Turkey Saurus incoming! We gotta go. Happy harvest, Turkey Sauruses! Do not invite us next year! Uh, guys? We still don't have a turkey sauce for harvest dinner. Are you kidding me? Didn't you learn anything? Sure. I learned that gravy is very handy for sticky situations. <laughs> oh, he must be from the potato dimension! Uh, we could sure use some of that gravy now. Gadget Sawyer, who knew you were a comet tracking zombie? Oh, I've been studying the sky for years. Comets, meteors, weather patterns, bird droppings. <laughs> Vertical fart cone. Very rare. <laughs> hmm. I've studied lots of bird droppings, but never actual birds dropping. <laughs> I hope the comet didn't have anything to do with that. You're the expert. Aren't regular comets only visible at night? I never have seen a daytime comet before, Gretch, but I'm sure it's totally normal. Uh, uh, who's to say what's normal anyway? Forget everything I said. Ah! McGee! Your face! Oh, Gretch, your hair! Guys, I'm trying to watch Squirt! Your voice! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why do we all look and sound like Butt Squad? We gotta make it stop! It's an improvement. <laughs> At least I don't sound like Butt Squad anymore. Oh, uh, Butt Squad, is that you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were Butt Squad. Should do the trick. Gotcha! Don't do this! What? I said it was supposed to be lunch! Oh, sorry, Rosebud. Ah! Not you too! Not me too, what? No! No! <laughs> ah, ah! Oh, that's much better. <laughs> There you are. I have to show you the strange readings, my ears. Yeah, yeah. While you're tracking weather, we've been trying to get rid of all this butt squattiness. Uh, hey, how come you're not all squatty? <laughs> I guess there is an upside to being a rotting corpse. Listen, I tracked that comet all day. I don't think it's a comet at all. Ah, even my boogers are butt squattified. Guys, focus. Go on, Sawyer. Finish what you were explaining. Uh, thanks. I'm tracking another weather phenomenon with my scientific devices. I think it can reverse the yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah. When did science help anyone? Butt Squad, 
What's going on? Why do we all look like you? Why? Silence! All will be explained, as I am the only one who can cure you. Welcome to my state-of-the-art Team Butt Squatifying facility. Here is where I, Jordan Butt Squad, will help Team Butt Squatify you. Because I'm cool like that. Yeah. You help us? Ha! Doubtful. Don't give in to your fears and mistrust, Gretch. They're symptoms of the Butt Squatifying Comet! <laughs> Here in the Team Butt Squatifying Lab, we Butt Squatifiers work hard to Team Butt Squatify the victims of the Butt Squatifying Comet which reappears every 10 butt years. How do you think I ended up like this? Sure, it's too late for me, but I won't let others suffer, not even bottom smellers. Oh, butt squad, that's so... <gasps> Wedgie! <gasps> oh, no, what have I become? Me, that's who. <laughs> Here, in the Deep Butt Squatifying Lab, you will learn to not be like me by someone who knows me best. Me. That's really important. <laughs> wow, total squatty move, Gretch. Whoa, you win, Butt Squat. Do what it takes to do Butt Squatify us and hurry. Oh, I will. I definitely will. <laughs> Butt Squat's toenails. Do not ask why you're buffing Butt Squat's toenails, Gretch. Ask how many more of Butt Squat's toenails you get to buff. Buffing Butt Squat's toenails is an honor. If that's an honor, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give it back. Uh, yes, I see now. This is an honor. Yes, now feel the Butt Squat. Be the butt squat. Smell the butt. Ooh, here comes my favorite part. Ah, someone, get this butt squat out of me! <laughs> no, no wet Walters. They're so McGee. And if you want to truly be butt washed, you must rid yourself of all things McGee. Forever. Butt Squad, present! Butt Gee, Butt Squad, and Gretch Squad reporting for Butt Duty, sir! <laughs> the butt washing is complete. I've created my own Butt Squad. <laughs> I can't believe my Butt Squadifying satellite actually worked. Butt Squadifying satellite version 1.0. Warranty expiring right now. Squad, move out and repair that uh, classified object. Stat. Yes, yes but, but sir. sir. That strange weather pattern should be rolling in any time now. Yes. Hmm. Um. <gasps> that isn't a comet. I sense something. Squatty. Classified object located. But squad, commence repair. Stat. Bye-bye, classified object. But Butt-cellent. It is now time to put my butt plan into action. The cadiddles have been at Sunny Smiles all day. When are they coming back with a cure for all the butt... Is this part of the cure? Phase one of butt plan complete. Staff subdued and ready for butt washing regimen. Hey, where's Sawyer? I don't worry about him. He's busy tracking comets and slight breezes. Then it's time for Butt Plan Phase 2! Sunny Smilify Link Bottom! Activate the Sunny Smilender! <laughs> Let's get Sunny Smiles! <laughs> Not so fast, Butt Squad! Your diabolical plan is over! As the weather pattern I've been tracking to be arriving... Now! <laughs> oh, this weather pattern freaks! It's made of the collective stomach gases of a million tiny woodland creatures. Oh. That smells familiar. It's called 
the El Maguina. Wait a second. Non Butt Squad McGee was named after a giant fart wind? The El Maguina is a pleasant yet stinky wind. When it's boosted, it can blow anything away. Uh, what a stinky relief. Reg, we're almost deep on Squadified. The Sunny Smilander. We have to deactivate it before. Before I can do it, Lamo. But Squad is too strong and squirt. Even the El Maquina can't blow it loose. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Not a making it rain, it's wrong! <gasps> Feeling butt squatty again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the El Maquina. Look deep inside yourself and you will find a way to fight the Butt Squad. Yes, must fight Butt Squad. Only way McGee can make Stinky Wind proud. But how? How? <gasps> yes! Use the Wet Walter! No! Yes! No! What do you know? Ah! Ah! I've been freaking! <laughs> what do you know? All it took to cure us was a little McGee spit. <laughs> hey, butt squirt! Have a nice treat! <laughs> 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 Squatted for you. And this is how you thank me? Typical bottom smellers. Hey! Butt squat! Smell this! Ew! What stinks? Sorry, McGee. I, I don't think I'm totally deep but squatified yet. for my special gumbo recipe. <gasps> Trust me, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Except maybe a cold chill. <laughs> <laughs> and now we do this the hard way. You can run, but you can't hide your hide. <laughs> Okay, let's start the pre-flight safety check. Flimsy and highly unstable cardboard wings. Check. Easily distracted birds that will fly off at the first sign of danger. Check. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> That's it, Squirt! We're doing it! But we need more flap. More flap! Chirp, 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 chirp! Yes! <laughs> I've harnessed the power of bird! Red, you gotta try this! up here. Engines one through six are experiencing major exhaust oh. trouble. <laughs> and that's why I 
I'd prefer the poop splash free zone. I'm much safer over here. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> ah! <Chipmunk> danger! <laughs> Wait! I sense a disturbance in the forest. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! is delicious. It's much for dinner. There, there, Gretch. The little guy's long gone. <gasps> the disturbance in the forest, it's back. Coming from over there. Now hold still, or this will get really messy. No! For shame, jumping chipmunks. But campus, all I want is its food. Fat, juicy chipmunk, rump meat, uh, yeah, we know, Rosebud. We know. All creatures of the forest are precious, and that includes their rump meat. I won't let you hurt Mr. Cheeks, and yes, that's what I'm calling him. How would you like it if chipmunks hunted you? Huh, Rosebud? Huh? Chipmunks? Hunting us? <laughs> 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 There's a whole other dimension thingy. I don't know, but something about this place is making me feel weird. You haven't felt anything yet. Guards! Seize the humans! <laughs> oh, look at the widow ninja chipmunks. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Ow! Yutsi Poo Talk is strictly forbidden in Monk Bottom. But if there's no cutesy poo talk, how do you talk to your chipmunk babies? Come on. With dignity and respect and brutal honesty. Of course, of course. Talking chipmunks, I mean, this is just a dream. Because if it wasn't, could I do this? This is a chipmunk in monk bottom! Get Get them! Hey! I never wanted to hurt the chipmunks! All I ever wanted was sweet succulent keister kebab! Yeah, we know, Rosebud! We know. Okay, coast is clear. Let's head back and figure out a way to rescue Gretch. <laughs> Wow, oh, McGee's anti-chipmunk rabbit dog call trick actually worked. Gotta love dreams. <laughs> wow, that laser thing is much more effective. You were willing to sacrifice your tiny organs for me? Maybe I was wrong about you disgusting little creatures. Wow, I mean, this dream is so realistic. I can even taste the spit. Well, it's kind of acorny. <laughs> All right, you disgusting little furball. You're welcome. And ow! Watch it! Your little claws are all pinchy and they're... Pinchy? Oh, I'm awake! Oh, whoa, whoa! Come on, Squirt, can't you spot a chipmunk-built human trap? We gotta stay on our game if we're gonna outsmart these chipmunks. All right, game time! Oh, I regret nothing. What are you going to do to her? This human will stand trial for crimes against chipmanity. Effective immediately. A trial? That's it? Well, of course it is. We are civilized chipmunks. You stand accused of attempted chipmunk devouring. If found guilty, you will be sentenced to our most extreme punishment. Chipmunks of the jury, my client is not guilty. She never technically ate a chipmunk. Sure, she thought about it. I mean, a lot. My fellow chipmunks, how can we believe anything this human says 
when he treats animals like this. <gasps> Trading our feathered friends for human amusement? For shame! <laughs> Sorry, Rosebud. I'm all out of the ideas I got from watching three minutes of that lawyer TV show. I'm sorry. <laughs> order, order. You're all out of order. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to say that. Okay, go on, little buddy. Tell him how we shared a moment and how our two species can live together in peace and you know, all that garbage. Based on this new evidence, I find the defendant not guilty, is what I would say if the jury wasn't so hungry for punishment. In other words, guilty! Yay! <sighs> I hate chipmunks. No! Don't punish me! I'm innocent, I tell you! <gasps> My family cookbook! Chipmunk for Gumbo? She never wanted to eat us after all? How is this recipe different than the delicious human hair stew we all enjoy? Have you all forgotten everything our four monks taught us about chipmunk mercy? For shame! You're right! Release the humans! Oh. Uh. Honeypoo's all around! No, that is still forbidden! Uh, what's that? You cannot hug the squishy human. And go change your diaper. Stink. Wow, that was brutally honest. Oh, I knew this lucky rabbit foot would come in handy. A rabbit foot? You caused one of our furry rodent brethren his limb. Get them. Again. Okay. Now <laughs> let's kick some furry butt. <laughs> 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 without barfing in fear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Bring it, Mr. Cheeks! Stop calling me that! My true name is Fuzz Wizzicate! Right, Fuzz Pants, you asked for it! Chipmunk Zero! Humans? A whole lot. And the best part, I'm not afraid of chipmunks and. Enough! Spoke too soon. For the crimes against chipmunk manatee, you all shall now suffer the ultimate punishment of shame shaving! Oh! Well, uh, human hair stew does sound delicious. 